All right, y'all. So if you watched my last video, the one right before this one, um, I said, oh, I'm not going to be making videos at my mom's. Yeah, I lied again. Today I'm at my mom's and we're making a video. Um, so it's right getting into winter time. Fall is just about gone. All trees just about have all their leaves off. Something's on my shirt. I don't know if it's water or what, but we're cooking. So, yeah, I might be wrong, but it's highly unlikely. Okay, so back to fall. I just had a winter retreat that I went to. Fall retreat, whatever you want to call it. And I've got apples for days. And my phone knocked over for days. So I've got all these apples here, minus a couple bananas. We're making apple butter, so stay tuned. We need need spices, a big old pot that we got here, water, sugar. We'll get into it. <laughs> recipe calls for about four pounds of apples but um all i know is i've got 22 apples and i'm using every single one of them so let me get me a bowl here to catch all this scraps um just a simple paring knife should do um it says keep the cores on but i'm getting the uh the seeds out of them. I guess you can eat it. I don't know. Whatever you want. Whatever you feel is appropriate. But I'm getting the seeds out of it because I don't want seeds in my apple butter. Are you kidding me? No. I don't want that. Anyway, we're just going to do this step on repeat for 22 apples or however many you have. Um,. I want a little bit more core out of it. But hey, it's fine. It's got a whole bunch of sugar and water and vinegar and things like that. Ah, oh, just clean the stove. I have to clean it again, I guess. Um, okay, yeah. There's no sense in you sitting here watching me do this. So, um... I'm going to be back. I don't even know what kind of apples these are. They're the ones that come in the bags at Walmart, I guess. Um, I didn't even get, I didn't even see a stem on that one. Whoa. Okay, I'm just making sure you get the, get the, get the, get the seeds out of there. I don't know why I'm stuttering either. And just make sure, just, I don't know. I've said get the seeds out about 47 and a half times. But why did I turn the oven on? Okay, I hate this thing. I was like, I love the controls at the front, but when I'm trying to sit here and work, my big old belly gets down there and hits every button and jacks it all up. So next thing you know, the oven's turned on and I'm sitting here baking something that's not even in the oven. Anywho, I'll be back when I get these apples. Core de seeded, whatever you want to call it. I've got good news. This pot holds about four pounds of apples. Okay, so it calls for a cup of vinegar and two cups of water, or a cup of apple cider vinegar and two cups of water. This isn't a cup, but it, it is what we got. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Keep it in there and probably about two and a half cups of water. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's not the end of the world. Remember, when you're on the stove top, you don't have to have perfect measurements. That's when you're baking. So 
uh, let me get my measuring cup here. Put me about two and a half cups of water. about two and a half cups and just pour it right over the top where you put your vinegar and then I'm gonna put my, my stove on high heat to start probably end up about medium so that's where we're at now um, I got apple that only took about 30 minutes so that's heating up. I'll be right back. I've got it on high heat for the moment to warm it up and you're gonna reduce it about back down to medium and cook it with the lid on for about 20 to 25 minutes until everything becomes soft. It says run it through a food mill. I ain't got one of them. So we're gonna try a potato smasher first. I've got one of them stick blenders, but I think if I just crush it, cause I like my apple butter chunky. So now we wait for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so, well, let me get you up here. It'll be foggy, but when it starts looking like that, Looks like regular apple butter, you know. I smashed it up. We're gonna add in our spices um, real quick. So I got, uh, I think it's two teaspoons of cinnamon, some cloves, uh, ground clove, nutmeg, and some salt. Putting that in here. Um, don't worry about all the measurements. I've got them in the description below or you can just copy and paste them into your notes if you want to save them. Whew. House smells like vinegar at the moment, but I've got all these spices in here and it won't be for long. Okay, now I cannot stress this enough. Read this. Pure vanilla extract. Pure extract don't use it if it's not extract don't use it if it's not pure if it's not pure it'll say imitation or clear or something like that if it ain't brown don't use it look at there i got brand new okay i do oh this might be a teaspoon i don't know we're gonna do what makes it. i turn that oven on again Enough. About two teaspoons, two tablespoons, maybe. I don't know. My hands gonna smell like vanilla for a week. Okay. So I'm gonna stir this in, and I gotta get my lemon juice. If you have a fresh lemon, please use it. I don't, so we're using lemon juice, and I'll be right back. So it turns out I don't even have lemon juice, so I didn't put it in there. Now we're gonna add about two cups. It's about to be a whole container. Wait a Why is it compacted like that? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to eyeball about two cups of sugar. You can measure it if you want. There's about one. There's probably two. Maybe two and a half. I don't know. Good. If it's too sweet, add some something tart, like more lemon juice, more vinegar, more salt. If it's not sweet enough, add some more sugar. Simple fixes. But most thing is don't stress it's apple butter. And there's no butter in it. I don't know why some people think that there's apple butter in it. I mean it's in the name, but 
I mean, we got two a whole bunch of sugar in here, so just as well call it that. Anyway, we're gonna. Um, I've got it on low heat now. I'm gonna turn it up just a tad. To maybe medium low, just to get it simmering. <sighs> turn that darn oven on again, just to get it simmering, and it's gonna sit here and simmer on the stove for probably two hours at least. The longer it sits here and steeps, simmers, whatever you want to call it, the better it gets. So now, remember, one of the biggest things that I can't stress enough to people when they're cooking is taste their food and don't drop it on your stove. Okay? Mmm. That's good. Okay? Because if it ain't good in here, it ain't going to be good on a plate or in something. So I've got it on medium-low heat. More to the lower side of medium-low. You can see it here. It's, it's just sitting there simmering. So you want to stir it about every 15 to 20 minutes just to keep it from scorching on the bottom. And... You'll be golden, and then you'll have apple butter. I don't know how much lemon juice is said to put in here, but I will add just a little bit more water. Just since I didn't have them spices in here, and the longer these spices sit here and roast and cook, the better. Apple butter will become. All right. So lay back on. Check it in about 10 minutes. I want to show you my flame size here, real quick. So that's about all the bigger my flame is right here. So. That's all you need to keep this pot of simmering. But I'll be back. Y'all. Wait a minute. That ain't gonna work. Let's see if I can do it this way. Um, so, I didn't read my recipe very carefully. It calls for four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar total. Two cups white sugar and two cups brown sugar. Okay, I messed up. Y'all, it smells so good in this house right now. With that brown sugar really made it. Whew. It tastes so good, it's thickening up, it's getting dark. I'm probably still gonna leave it here for about another hour, just let it sit here and simmer. The only thing it does is get better. I'm gonna can it and have it for the rest of the winter. All right, y'all, I'll be back. Y'all, I took this lid off about uh, 10 minutes ago. So when you uh, when you sit there with the lid on it while it's sitting here boiling, what is it, uh, one quarter till? Uh, we started about 1230 with the heat on, so it's been an hour. Maybe it was 12, I'm not sure. But... Um, I just took the lid off because this water will get on the top um, after you leave the lid on. So now we're boiling the water off of it. And then I'm going to can mine, which I've already told you. But odds are you're probably not going to be making this much. So Anyway, I got my, my stuff over there to boil my lids in and all that stuff while I get my jars ready. So I'll be back here when... Uh, Probably about another hour of this thing simmering. We're getting it thick. After about another 30 minutes of stirring and uh, simmering, grab a butter look like this, and it is now ready to can, bottle, and whatever you want to do with it, and eat. All right, y'all, as always, 
the uh, video, or I mean the uh, recipe for the apple butter will be in the description. Um, I'm telling you, that apple butter, whew, so good. Um, sitting here watching my Dale one night thing, and, uh, I'm just telling you that apple butter, I mean, I canned it, or jarred it, whatever you want to call it, made 12 jars of it, and I gave away 10 of them. I went and drove around town and gave away 10 of them. So I got two left for me, one for me, and I'm bringing one to Thanksgiving, so... I can always make more, but I like giving people stuff. So, as always, wash hands, do all that fun stuff. Remember, if you like my stuff, just go ahead and subscribe because I'm just saying all of it, all of it is just this silly, goofy stuff, me cooking. Um, anyway, y'all cook. You deserve it.